you are welcome to this YouTube channel where we have loads of messages from the man of God, Apostle Jesus Solomon. As you're seated by your laptop or by your phone, I encourage you to be so attentive to anything the man of God is about to share. Because we believe that there are loads of blessing in every word he says. But Jesus says that the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. This means that any message that is going to be preached on this same platform carries the life content and that spirit content to make you all that God wants you to be. And so here, hit on that subscribe button for me. Like this video, share, be an evangelist to us. And we believe that your life is going to be transformed. You will never be the same again. Thank you. Things, miracles, healing, signs and wonders going to happen in the lives of all those that are suffering any form of ailment. And also trust that the Lord will begin to do great in infrastructure and begin to raise up pillars that is going to bring glory to the name of the living God. So we do receive the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. And as you can see right here on the tarmac, we see the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Visit our city, our dear nation, our Kradi airport. And guess what? The apostle is in town. The apostle is in town. I'm super excited. I'm overwhelmed and excited to, to for us to receive the apostle uh, Joshua Selma in our city called Takrade. Uh, so if you just join us live on Guam TV and Voice of Zion Radio, we are transmitting live from the Takrade airport. Apostle is in town. And we want to just speak some few words from the apostle of our time. Apostle, you are welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me, um, I want to start with this. Last year when you were ministry, you made a prophetic statement. That there is a horn that limits people in this city. Can you throw a little light on that prophetic word that you, you made? Well, every city and every region, according to scripture, has gates. Um, gates and doors do not just mean metallic substances. They are also, they mean spirits that operate across territories. And um, it's a duty of um, the apostolic and the prophetic to identify these gates and doors. The Bible says, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, ancient doors. So by discernment and through the understanding that comes from scripture you are able to identify um, the limiting forces mm. gates across territories mm. and then um, release god's people from those limitations those gates and doors are responsible for patterns behavioral patterns they are responsible for limitations of all sorts so um, when God reveals these kinds of things, we are mandated by God to be instruments of deliverance, to speak that those gates release and lose their hold over God's people. Well, uh, Apostle, um, it is perceived that this city is a very strong uh, city and that uh, you, through revelation, make it a pro prophetic uh, statement. What, what would you tell men of God uh, in this city because uh, it, it is as if there is no church in our part of the country where uh, a church can command about thousand sitting in one service. It's, it's not possible in our, in our, in our, in our what, what would be what would be your word to men of God in ministry in this part of our city? Well, in all honesty, to answer that question, I would need to you need to sit down. I need to do a teaching to answer that question. <laughs> but then, generally speaking. Uh, there are no forces in any city strong enough to stop the purposes of God. John 1, 5 says, the light shineth in darkness. So when there are limitations in a city, the following may be the reasons. Number one, it may be bankruptcy of sufficient light and wisdom. Uh, because the Bible says, arise, shine, for your light is come. So you only arise to the degree to which your light comes. And the Bible says, even among the stars, one differed from another in glory. So the depth of your spiritual understanding 
translate to your dominion, even within a city. So that's number one. Number two, the Bible says, through wisdom, a house is built. By understanding, it is established. By knowledge, the rooms are filled with every treasure. So it is possible that there might be an upgrade. There needs to be an upgrade in wisdom, understanding. And I believe this is why God allowed for conferences like this, so that we come together. The idea, you see, and, I, and let me just say this is I'm on air. The idea is not to come and show a sense of superiority in ministry above other graces. No, no, no. We come as brothers and sisters in the vineyard and we come to strengthen one another. So my coming here is um, courtesy the bishop and his dear wife to stand with the church in Takoradi to tell them that we can be greater, we can be better, mm. and then to bring the dimension of God that is given. The idea is not to come and outshine, nor downplay, nor demean. I believe there are mighty men and women of God within the city, but I believe that in Christ we can always rise higher. So that which God has shown us by His grace, we have brought it as a contribution. We do not know everything. I don't know everything. We all learn, we are students in the school of the Spirit. So out of that which God has shown, and by the gift, the blessings of the election of grace, we are coming to contribute. So by this, I think I would encourage every man of God, there's no prejudice, denominational barriers, you come. It is God coming to visit the city. Mm -hmm. It's a privilege that we are the vessels that he's using. But the idea is to upgrade our spiritual understanding to impart graces that may be deficient in our lives and to realign us to be more strategic and to be more prophetic as far as kingdom advance is concerned. Yeah, um, I was even sure if you are a student, we are learning. Uh, this question is from my mother-in-law because yeah, he, she follows you a lot. She's actually asking you this question. She, she's, she's amazed, she's very old, but she's amazed with the kind of capacity in which you deliver the word of God. And she, she's actually asking you, how do you build such capacity? This is what I'm about to teach. Wow. <laughs> so wow. that's why, wow. that's why I came. Wow. <laughs> yes. The Bible says that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled, even of the word of life, that is what we teach. Mm. Uh, for sure, Nicodemus came to Jesus by night in John 3 and verse 2. He says, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher sent from God, for no man can do these miracles except God be with you. So there are possibilities that are not affordable within the world of men unassisted. So we, this is one of the things that we have come mm. to show people, mm. the excellency of the divine life at work in human vessels. Yeah. Yes. Um, you one of our press pass because uh, as I, know, I know you swear everywhere that you go, but for you to accept to come to our city, it means God has instructed you to be here. What has the Lord laid on your heart for? First, I'm here for two reasons. One, because I love Bishop Asari and his wife. Mm. Wow. Yes. Hallelujah. Aside being a great man of God and one who has been in the ministry for many years, he truly is a very good man. And secondly, I'm here because I believe in what God is doing across the territory. And um, so it's an honor to come and make our spiritual contribution. There are many things in, in a prophetic conference like this. There are no limits to that which God will say or do. Um, our notes is just for the purpose of organization and intelligence. But the truth is that in an atmosphere where there is a mix of hunger, determination, sacrifice, and where the Holy Spirit is given unrestrained access, we simply say anything can happen. That is the truth revelations even beyond that which the man of God has planned. The hunger of men can pull out dimensions that you did not even plan to deliver. But generally, if I would summarize my assignment here, it would be number one, to help the body of Christ experience higher levels of revelation. According to Acts chapter 2 and verse 42, they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, fellowship, breaking of bread, and prayer. This has always been the model handed to the church. And then to trust God that there be healings, there be miracles, mm -hmm. there be deliverances, 
and then again to impart graces particularly upon ministers of the gospel because the stronger we are as far as the abundance of grace is concerned the more the exploits for the kingdom and of course every time light comes there will always be a dislodging of darkness so we trust that god will lift up burdens age-long captivity that has been over people families territories businesses and then of course to speak the word of god the bible says i prophesied as i was commanded and there was a sound so there is a sound that we have brought that prophetically as we speak over people and over the territory there will be a sound of deliverance a sound of hope a sound of restoration this is what god seeks to do wow thank you I was there, I have some doubting Thomas is even saying that no, he wouldn't come again. Yeah, it's early to have you once, good to have you again in uh, Takrande. You were here last year, and today, by the special grace of God, you were here. What brought you back? Um, please leave the doubting Thomases. They have a right to doubt. I mean, they're humans. <laughs> uh, so I don't think we should. Doubting Thomases are lovely people. Most of them will be part of those who will be blessed. Everyone is welcome. I'm sure that most of them may be sincere at heart. They may just uh, say that because of the schedules and they feel, you know, I was in Akure yesterday. In fact, Bishop was saying, so, you know, it's, it's, it's fair and honest for them to doubt if, uh, but, but when God comes, he comes for everyone. So everyone is invited. Uh, like I said, the idea is to help to build the body of Christ and to help people experience Jesus. Um, I'm here again, like I said, because I love your pastor mm. and I, I, I love Bishop. He's a great man. He's a father over the territory. He's a prophet over the territory. I love him. And then um, I believe in what God is doing in this conference and within the territory. Maybe I should add that I love Ghana. Ah. <laughs> Ghana loves you so much. I was saying that he believes in the conference. To have a conference running for 26 years running, it means the hand of God is strictly and strongly in this uh, conference. Why don't you join us at the International Prophetic Gathering at Zion Priest Chapel International, the fear behind the Blanco feelings, apostle is in town. And once apostle is in town, God is definitely. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share it to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.